So a few years ago, I was in Los Angeles for a business trip and I had never had In-N-Out Burger before. And everyone always talks about how great it is. So the conference that I was at got done at about three o'clock on Sunday and my flight wasn't until Monday morning. I had some time to kill. So I got an Uber, took it to In-N-Out Burger and had, had an In-N-Out Burger, I think a shake and some fries. And I just remember being, I don't want to say disappointed, but kind of underwhelmed with the, with the experience because it had been told to me that In-N-Out was so great. So I'm in Tucson now for business and don't worry, I'm in the drive-through. It's not like I'm racing down the road or anything, but uh, they've got In-N-Out Burger here now. I don't think that they always did. And I, I noticed that there's actually a really long, long line to get it. So it must be, kind of a novelty or people really think it's special and again I find myself with a break here um, before my next appointment here on this business trip and I thought you know what I, I'm gonna give in and out burger another try and review it so we'll we'll see how how this goes okay should be should be interesting um, it's hot it's very hot out here now hi how are you today sir good how are you good thanks for asking what can we have for uh can i get a uh just a cheeseburger meal cheeseburger meal with onion sure yes yeah of course and what would you like to drink a coke coke yeah of course would that be all today sir that's it Okay, so today is going to be Thanks. I know some people say they're, you're supposed to order it animal style and double double blah blah blah, but that's just too much to remember for somebody who's had an In-N-Out burger twice in their life and won't eat it a whole lot. I'm curious, I'm trying to have a positive attitude about this. One of my problems when it comes to hamburgers, cheeseburgers in general is that, first of all, I can make a pretty wicked cheeseburger. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. I'm a cheeseburger with onion fry and a coke. Yeah. Perfect, 734 today, You too. All right, we're gonna park and we're gonna eat this. So that's exciting. So we picked up the burger from from In and Out, like I was just showing you, and uh, it comes like this. <laughs> Try this again. Picked up the In and Out burger from In and Out, and uh, it comes like this. Comes in a little box. Kind of cute. Not sure. That's the best eco-friendly packaging. What? Whatever. These fries are good. Not a lot of salt, not greasy at all. They've got a nice crisp taste to them. I'm good. I think I was supposed to get them covered with something, but I don't really remember. All right, so here's my burger. As you can see, it's a nice presentation. I like that they serve it with a little open pocket. That's pretty old school. Um, it's also very appetizing. Uh, I like that there's a, I'm an onion guy. So there's a whole onion on there. Um, I like the size too. It's not mango, you know, like some burgers can be. It's got lettuce, um, in and out sauce or whatever they call it. I asked for onion and it's got a whole, whole slice of, of pickle on there. You can see that. All right, here we go. Okay, it's it's all right. Um, again, it's not 
and it's such a thin little patty. Um, it might be a six to one actually, which means they can get six burgers out of out of one pound of beef. It's okay, you know. Like I said, it's it's okay for a chain burger. I wouldn't go out of my way, you know. Actually, looking at it, the onion is almost as thick as the burger patty is, which is troubling. It's okay. I guess I would summarize with this. You know, I, I don't I don't see what the big deal is. Um, people rave about In and Out Burger. People get kind of crazy about it. People that I know that live in the Southwest, especially can get pretty stupid about it but so that's my review of in and out burger second time thanks for watching